Hey guys, what is up? Sleeping Night 77 aka Kyle back here with week 4 of our APA season. We are currently 3 0 going up against Gale Wings aka Assault Galade aka Shiny G aka Ass aka my very good friend um, who I was very much looking forward to battling in this uh, this league and we were like oh week four this is gonna be great and then we both found out we were undefeated and we we're like oh good uh, so yeah one of us is going down this week um, and he had he has a very good team matchup against me uh, I was I was very scared to face him and I did not predict his team well at all um, we've battled numerous times um, in regular smoke on tears and We've battled in like one league, I think, and I 5 0 him, so I knew he was going to try and get revenge for that. Um, especially since we battled each other, I think, like next round in that league, too. So uh, I knew he was going to try and get revenge from that, and that he was just going to try and beat me because um, he's, he's my good friend, and I was expecting a good battle from him regardless either way um, but like I said he does have a very good team matchup against me uh, and I did not predict his team well I predicted Mega Metacham over Palkia I predicted a Scavalier over Regirock um, I did predict the Honchkrow correctly um, I wasn't sure whether about Azumarill or um, or Gengar and he did bring Gengar for the first time and uh, I kinda knew Celebi was coming because well, I. I predicted Celebi was coming because uh, I had Politoed and he knew that I wasn't going to bring Politoed um, because of Suicune, so he wasn't going to bring Suicune to power it up anyway. Um, so, uh, without further ado, we're just going to get right into week four. It begins now. So, um, I'm just going to lead off with Sorry No Lanoon. He loves Lanoon. I took it from him. Uh, I have Kecleon here uh, setting up the Stealth Rocks. Um, I'm just going to move that to normal because that's going way too fast for me. Um, he has the Piloswine here, and he makes a very good prediction uh, on my Thunderous Switch using Ice Will Crash and killing my Thunderous. So yeah, um, I'm already down big. Uh, I make a good prediction into the Celebi, um, use the knockoff, and I use I send in Skun Tank here. It still does its, like 37%, which is insane. But uh, I knew he wasn't going to stay in here, so I go for the... Uh, I go for the poison jab here, and I get the poison, and he gets his lumberry. <laughs> and he was like, no, because I was in call with him. He was like, no, 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 that's not how this is supposed to work. And uh, I wasn't predicting rock polish, because I wasn't predicting to bring this thing, so I just kind of sucker punched, and uh, he rock polished up, and I'm like, oh, well, that's not good. Um, and he earthquaked, uh, I poison jabbed again, and I get the poison again. Um, so I was like, oh, good, I'm slowly taking, he's slowly taking damage. And then I use Sucker Punch again, just before I die, and he rests on me, and I'm like, why? Just why? So, now I need to try and just whittle this thing down, whittle this thing down, whittle this thing down. Uh, I use Shadow Claw, hoping for a crit. Um, doesn't get it. So I use Shadow Claw again, hoping for a crit. And, uh, don't get it. Um, I should have gone for Sucker Punch here, um, but I didn't. Uh, any earthquakes me to death. I thought aftermath worked a different way. I found out it's just contact moves, not just full physical moves. So now I send out Tricky Dragon, the Choice Scarf Dialga, use Flash Cannon, and take out this Reggie Rock. Now he's going to send out his Palkia. Um, Palkia has a very good matchup against my Dialga. Um, so I need to sack something here, and that something is Kecleon. So um, I'm just going to go right into Hoopa here, and. I make a bad play and I switch out into Machamp, um, and he's just going to spatial rend me twice to death. I don't have any priority on this Machamp, um, so I don't really know why I switched it in. So I need to send out Hoopa again. Uh, Shadow Ball, two Shadow Balls do kill this thing, and spatial rend does not kill me. Um, so I don't. I really don't know why I sacked Machamp there. It was a bad play on my part. Um, so now he's going to send in Al Capone. And I'm going to predict him to go for either Pursuit or something. And I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. And he superpowers me. And I should have predicted um, the Sucker Punch there. And I should have switched out into Dialga. Um, oh well. Um, Sucker Punch isn't going to take me out. It is going to do a lot of damage, um, though, but I have to lock myself into Flash Cannon. Uh, Flash Cannon has a 25% chance to kill this Gengar as we calc afterwards, and it lives on 3%. And the Shadow Ball ends up taking me out. So, 
Uh, yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate. Um, we lose 3-0 to Gale Wings. Um, but, all in all, it was a very good battle. Um, I made a few misplays that cost me in the end. Um, as you can tell, that Machamp one really did cost me. Um, I still don't know why I made that play. Uh, I was predi I was honestly predicting something else, but... Uh, all in all, uh, it was a very good game to Gale Wings. His uh, stuff will be in the description down below. Um, leave a comment down below too about how much I suck this battle because, yeah, I made I made a few made a few bad misplays this battle. Uh, and then, like I said, that ended up costing me in the end. It cost me my undefeated record so far. Um, but next week um, we do have a bye week, um, so there will be no APA video next Saturday. Um, the following week, I forget who we play. I think we play the Adel the Adelstone Ampharos. If I'm wrong, then no, I, I play the uh, I play the Talon Flames next. I play Vegeta next. Um, so, um, in two weeks, we will go up against the Talon Flames and Stacks Goku Vegeta. I don't know what he wants to be called, honestly. Um, so, um, two weeks, we'll have that. Until next time, guys, um, leave a comment down below, leave a like, um, and go check out my buddy Galings. Until next time, peace.